Hi, uh, this is Adam. I think I'm recording. I, um, I am. I see the red dot. Hello, everybody. I'm all alone uh, today, and uh, my brother is uh, not here with me. I am pre-recording this for the uh, for the first time. So we have uh, we are on episode number twelve. Uh, we did episode eleven last week. Our initial goal was to get to ten. We did that um, with the help of my brother Matt, and uh, very excited. So I'm pre-recording this. Uh, today's Wednesday, actually, but this is going to be uh, streamed live on LinkedIn and YouTube and Facebook. So hello, everybody. I hope this works. Um, but uh, the reason that we're not going live is because I'm in Charlotte. My brother's in the Boston area. Um, with my wife and kids here, and uh, I am flying tomorrow to go see my brother up in Boston. So we are going to be together, technically, but we're not going to be live. Um, so I, uh, what I am going to do here today is to go through the last 11 episodes very quickly, mention the people that were involved, and just thank everybody for watching and listening, and also to announce two things. Um, successfully we have started an internship program just got off uh, the phone with our first intern and that intern is going to be focused on uh, entrepreneurship in hospitality and hotels and food service sorry i'm getting a reminder on my phone but i'm very excited about that and now that internship is being sponsored by hospiamo but the internship is going to be through the new nonprofit 501c3 organization that was recently formed. And that is called the Hospitality Industry Impact Initiative, HI3. You can go to the website and check it out. It's just a splash page right now. It says coming soon. But you can send in your uh, inquiries and uh, get signed up for future newsletters and things like that. You can find that at hospitalityimpact.org. Very excited about that and very excited about our first internship program. Um, and the individual, uh, he's in high school, has a, uh, an interest in investment banking. And he is uh, on a, the, the internship program is related to investments in the hotel and hospitality industry, combination of real estate and assessing operating businesses. And um, and so it's going to be awesome and great. So I wanted to uh, mention that. Very excited. And also very quickly going to thank a bunch of people that were um, that spent their um, that spent their time with us over the past 11 weeks. And so I'm going to go through and say thank you to these folks here. And just so that you know, I um, cleaned up the YouTube um, channel for Hospiamo. And uh, it's, listen, I, this is all very new. Um, and I'm not that great at it. Nor do we really have aspirations of becoming uh, podcasters uh, or world famous pos podcasters anyway. So um, it's a little bit of a mixed bag. But if you go to the YouTube channel, just type in Hospiamo. And uh, you'll see our channel there. And uh, there's multiple playlists. Uh, we have one that is uh, pretty cool. It's connected into our website, and that is the People Who Move Us. And so those are people from Roberto Clemente to Joan Baez to Jaime Escalante, uh, numerous um, uh, videos of people that have moved us and to help us uh, be inspired and encourage us to even create Hospiamo and then all these other entities that we're working on and all the people involved. So check it out. And this is the playlist for the live events. And uh, this brings back great memories. And so uh, I'm going to mention the people that, that uh, were a part of our first one. Without my brother and I, uh, there's my brother Matt um, with Agile Game Changers, agilegamechangers.com. Uh, if it weren't for him, none of this would, would have happened because, um, he's such a, a powerhouse of encouragement and empowerment for me, uh, beyond being a great big brother. Um, uh, he, he helps me keep going because it, it is difficult to be, uh, an independent 
a uh, person without a paycheck coming in. Um, and so uh, going out there to, to find new business uh, and to create something of value, um, all the people here that uh, are highlighted, th this is what they're doing. And so there's a lot of empathy going on with all of our episodes. These are uh, people that are creating things and doing things that are a little bit different, not better, but just a little bit different than uh, the way that we have been uh, maybe taught in the past. And so uh, it's not easy, but uh, I will tell you, people like my brother make it feel better and easier. <laughs> so thank you, uh, bro. Um, so this, uh, this first episode was actually on our mom's birthday. Um, we lost our mom five years ago uh, in 2018. Um, and uh, so, you know, it's been five years. And so being with my brother up in Boston uh, tomorrow and the next few days is going to be pretty cool. Um, Shout out to my dad in Florida. Um, we'll be visiting him later this year. Uh, he's a big part of this also, so thanks, Dad. The um, but this uh, it it was what's the word serendipitous maybe with the timing because Matt said it's about time that you start getting public about what Hospiama was all about, and I said, well, we're not really about me or 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 the company Hospiama. We're about other people. And he said, well, that's good. Then let's uh, start doing a live event. He did a couple live events before that, and it uh, went well. So we had the technology down. We started, uh, we signed up with StreamYard, uh, and that is uh, very easy to learn. And uh, it was, uh, and then we were off to the races. And, um, and it was the next week, and we said, we just said, hey, what's a, um, what's a good time, time of the day that he would usually be available, or time of the week or day or whatever, and that I would be all, also available. And we determined that 3 o'clock on Thursdays, both on the East Coast, would work pretty well, that we could schedule for just an hour. Little did we know that it was going to take quite a lot of prep time before that for the first, like, four or five episodes. But that has gotten lesser and lesser because we've gotten a little bit better every time and things get a little bit easier. So uh, we went into this to be consistent and to do it every uh, week. Because uh, that's a challenge for me, and he knows that. Um, staying consistent, I like to uh, kind of move move around, and <laughs> I get I'm easily distracted. So the benefit of being consistent and having to do this every week uh, has been just beneficial in so many ways. In addition to spending time with my brother um, every week has been wonderful. So the uh, yeah May 25th was our first episode and that was our mom's birthday and that was the first Thursday that we talked about doing it we're like oh my god it's mom's birthday so it was pretty cool so this is um these four visionaries who move here um there's me and my bro Dave Waldman Chuck Cooper Derek Farley move over there move my big fat head here there's Derek and John St. Omer so um this is cool we uh we we winged it uh we said uh we're gonna try to do about a a half hour we did it in 40 minutes and you can see all these other ones we've never made it a half hour one of them is as long as an hour and 40 minutes i think so um this episode was all about just getting together and talking i have a personal connection with each one of these gentlemen and so it was really beautiful to be able to see them interact and they they had not interacted uh before uh, derek actually knows dave uh, but my brother had not really had a lot of interaction with these gentlemen. And, you know, Chuck Cooper is an author. Uh, Dave Waldman is a, a an entrepreneur in, uh, in the tax world and mergers and acquisitions. Derek Farley is a, an accomplished uh, entrepreneur in public relations. And John St. Omer is literally like the best hospitality hotel general manager that I've ever met. And I've known him for almost 20 years now. Uh, beyond being a good hotel manager, he's he's one of the best humans I've ever met. And um, so seeing them together on our first episode was just awesome. Now, um, what occurred was we started getting some listeners and to the people that we really wanted to talk to, which are real people that are doing real things and uh, creating things. And uh, so I got contacted by some folks and I reached out to some other folks and then Evelyn was episode number two. There's Evelyn right there. So um, 
uh, thank you to Evelyn. When I called Evelyn, uh, we've known each other only on LinkedIn uh, for about five years. Um, she's in Alabama, wonderful hotel general manager. Uh, she's from Mississippi. Uh, and I just said, I, I got to highlight you. I got to talk about you. You've done so much. You do so much. Um, I love how she uses LinkedIn to post uh, her Friday night dance parties back in the day. And that's what we do as hotel and hospitality managers. And I just said, I love that she's putting it out there and letting people know that this is uh, the, the, the foundation for uh, engagement and fun in the industry just by scheduling it and doing it every week. And uh, I think the best of us, uh, and, and she's one of the best doing it, and she's committed to doing that with her team. And so I said, what do you want to talk about? I said, this is, uh, I said, you've got some, is there anyone that you want to recognize? Because we talk about mentors a lot on this um, on this program. So uh, she said, well, how many can I invite? <laughs> and she, so uh, if I go throughout this uh, program here, you could see she had uh, on the screen multiple people. Here's some other folks that she had come in, Tanya and Bridget. Charles Fry with CNI Solutions. He eventually, I did a, a 30 minute or so interview with Charles because he's doing amazing things with CNI Solutions, a nonprofit. Evelyn um, started with these with these ladies here, um, Boss Women on a Mission. It's an amazing nonprofit and it's about female empowerment and they're just, they're killing it. And so being able to highlight them and celebrate them and honor them was really great. And so, uh, Oops, there we go. And then we had Yolanda Adams um, up in uh, and Que Pasa Appalachia. That was a cool episode. Um, talked about the um, Hispanic and Latina communities. Uh, she's also in North Carolina up in the Boone area in Watauga County. Works for the school system. Uh, a really empowering, uh, wonderful episode. Um, and highlighting and all the great things that Yolanda is doing. The next one was with, uh, with Mike White here. So... Mike White um, is the executive director of dining services at the at UConn, the Huskies, University of Connecticut. Um, and that conversation started with a congratulations to him and the University of Connecticut for becoming, um, I think it was five star rated green restaurants for all of their dining facilities, which is uh, what I think he said was about 12 years in the making and they are the first university in the United States to have all of their dining um, uh, dining areas or dining buildings with over 30,000 plus students right they served 3.7 million meals last year and they're they're rated five-star green restaurants and and they're the only uh, university or college to uh, to have all of their dining facilities rated that high. So Mike, you know, was part of it. He he's so selfless. He was uh, he thanked uh, numerous people for helping him to uh, move on in his career. Um, thanked his wife and kids and everything. And it was just really cool to to see that. Um, uh, then we went on to uh, more of. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's my uh, my favorite countdown that I was so proud and excited to figure out how to do that on StreamYard. So uh, yeah, then we had Dave Gaines. David Gaines, uh, he is the uh, the chairperson of uh, the Social Enterprise Alliance, uh, which is a uh, an alliance of social entrepreneurs and um, uh, social enterprises that Hospiamo is a member of. And, um, and David uh, wrote a book called Radical Business. And it's on Amazon. Check it out. Um, and uh, what I didn't know is that this here uh, is that rad, R-A-D, like radish. Uh, radish, or let me think. R-A-D is the Latin root for root. So R-A-D is means root in Latin. And so radish, radical, rad, I don't know. <laughs> So, uh, but the book is so much more than that, but it is about the roots of, uh, of, uh, the, the root of your work and how it can change the world. Just awesome. And we had, uh, two famous people here, famous podcasters, Elise and Will. 
they are uh, they're out in uh, the uh, Hollywood Los Angeles area. They have um, a true crime podcast uh, called Killer Heart to Hearts. Check it out. Um, maybe I can get to the. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we talked about everything from starting a podcast to uh, the, the challenges. They're doing it all in their own home, and um, but they're doing it quite well. They've had three seasons. They're working on season four. We had a little contest uh, for ideas. It's awesome. So this one was just me and Matt, um, or Matt and I. So this was us, me and Matt, talking about... Um, uh, yeah, hold on one second. About two minutes we'll go, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, we were uh, critiquing uh, uh, movies and books that have uh, that we said kept us going in the industry. Um, so these are some of the books here. Let me see. Really, uh, beyond inspiration, beyond that, we tried to get beyond the, uh, you know, the obvious. Like, I think Matt and I wanted to do, like, Rudy. You know, I was like, of course, Rudy. Uh, but we did some other ones that were... Uh, I really should have a list here, but I don't. Um, oh, there we are. Good. Yeah, the books. Uh, Creative Ink, uh, The Way of the Peaceful Warrior, the books that we uh, reviewed. Uh, movies were uh, It's a Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood and The Music Within. And then Better Off Dead, Time Bandits and, Bandits and Money Pit um, were some of the cult classics that we went through. Uh, then we had what we called the uncomfortable episode because we were talking about the words that we use to describe others. Um, oops. The uncomfortable episode. Uh, we had Evelyn back. Uh, we had John Cardonia here, my brother and I, and um, yeah, this was, uh, I called it the uncomfortable episode, but it eventually went into like the empowerment episode uh, because the, uh, um, we talked about this book that was uh, inspiring our conversation by uh, uh, Dr. Joseph Cooper um, from Exploitation Back to Empowerment. Black Male Holistic Underdevelopment Through Sport and Miseducation by Dr. Joseph Cooper. Um, yeah, that just spurned a lot, uh, uh, spurred a lot of conversation around, um, this was the quote that we, uh, uh, from the book, he said, in response to the problematic nature of terms such as people of color, minorities, marginalized groups, and oppressed groups, he said, I call for a shift in language in the pursuit of a more equitable and just society in it is important that we develop and use language that disrupts oppressive systems so found that fascinating we talked all about that um then we had mark alvarez on thanks mark for joining mark uh uh i know mark pretty well um mark is a a, a regular um contributor uh, and listener and watcher to this and, and he liked it and uh, he would make comments and stuff like that and so uh, this was um, really cool because Mark himself is a uh, someone who moves he's a uh, uh, senior vice president of people and culture with Reigns Hospitality and he has moved in, uh, he's an, um, a military veteran I think an army Forgive me if I'm not correct there, Mark, but in the, he's an Army veteran. Uh, he was a firefighter and then a hotel general manager and moved his way up into a vice president role and a senior vice president role. So um, also continued education, because, uh, eventually after 25 years, uh, eventually got his degree and then eventually a master's degree. So he's an adjunct professor. So he's doing a lot. And so he's very inspirational to me. Um, and I, I uh, think it was pretty cool that everyone got to hear his story. Um, so our second famous person, uh, or, uh, people here from, uh, the first being the true, tr true crime podcast, killer heart to hearts. And then we had, uh, Evelyn back, Evelyn again, she introduced us to, um, the M McMillian family. And so, uh, this is Emma Sarah McMillian. Um, 
and just is too much to tell here, but she's a mom of eight. Um, and we talked all about family and being a mom and the uh, adversity that she has uh, experienced in her life and th that allowed her to get to where she is. Um, she's a, a TV like celebrity. They have a show called Mother of Change TV or Mother of Change TV. If you go check it out, um, fascinating individual and individual family and her eight kids are all doing stuff. Well, even their four year old child is like, uh, I think just published a book. So all the way up to uh, her husband, uh, who's a rocket engineer. Um, and uh, so, yeah, um, very cool. And then we, um, last week, it was back to uh, just my brother and I um, talked about the uh, the world of uh, what I do and the world of what he does. And so I'm in the hotel and hospitality industry, and he's in the agile uh, management and agile leadership. So we talked about what agile is. We talked a little bit about what hospitality and, and hotels is, and we called it the world's colliding um, because uh, it's uh, it's kind of cool because he and I are very different, um, uh, but we do <laughs> like we both like to talk. So obviously, so um, yeah, that was awesome. And so that's continuing. And so Matt's a big part of this uh, internship that what we're doing, um, and uh, we have a, a strategic partnership with our two companies. And so we're developing products and things uh, for the hospitality industry together. With uh, he's into software development can't wait to continue working together on that. Um, but also the nonprofit hospitality industry impact initiative is uh, really cool. And that's just starting to, uh, to get up and running. Um, and so uh, that's all about education and, uh, you know, bringing people into the industry that might be thinking about coming into the industry, but then infusing some agile management uh, mindset uh, and methodologies. Uh, it's fascinating. So worlds collide. And so I'm going to leave it at that. And so thank you for watching this pre-recorded episode live. Um, it's kind of like a Saturday Night Live. It's I think they record it like an hour before and they say it's live. I don't know. Maybe I'm not right, but I uh, love it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll end here because I could go on and on, as you all know. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Um, and uh, if, if you make a comment here, we will become aware of it and we'll reach out to say hi. So thank you so much. And we will talk to you again. We will be back next week for episode number what 13. Lucky number 13. So um, I don't know how to shut this off, but I'm going to figure it out. There it is. Bye. Bye, everybody. Thank you.